have, do you have to do any adjustment when you moved to England? You were quite young when you went over there and you did all those parts. Did you have to adjust? I'm in a British culture, or were you just confident? No, who because you were? it was already hitting the the time that they were speaking Shakespeare more contemporaneously than they. You know, they the, the Brits have taken all the poetry out of Shakespeare most of the time. They 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 were the first to do it. Right. And for a while, they, while some of the American actors were still treating the poetry with some respect, yeah. the English were sort of dumping on it. I mean, I mean, a cock, a, a, a use of Cockney was all over the place. I mean, a Iago that sounds like that. I mean, I, I, I can't imagine an Iago sounding Cockney, but I don't see why he shouldn't be. I mean, no, they had already started this sort of modern, uh, new way of presenting Shakespeare because. Uh, don't forget the Osborne plays had changed the whole yeah. rhythm of of the theater, not only in England but he here as well. Look Back in Anger had only just opened a few years before, and everybody was now attacking everything as a sort of method. <laughs> to, so it, it wasn't any different from leaving really the New York scene and then arriving um, at Stratford on Avon. We I just went into my old Shakespeare the way I did, but. I never spoke it practically British like that. I always tried to give the soft softness of of the that, that the poetry deserves without departing totally into a British way of playing. 